What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. David here with another video. Super excited to go fishing this morning. Got a little bit of a late start, but I don't think it's going to matter. It is just absolutely gorgeous out here today. It's a little bit windy, which is why I'm in the car, you know, eliminate that wind noise on the camera for y'all, but it's going to be good and the weather is great. So we're going to like two or three different spots across the state of Delaware and it's two or three of my favorite spots. If we have time, we'll go to the third one, but we're at least going to two. But these spots have bass, they got snakeheads, and we're gonna primarily target bass at the first place, but the second place is more snakehead focused, and then the third is kind of a wild card. But it's gonna be a fun adventure today, and I'm glad you guys are along for the ride. So if you do enjoy the video here today, smash the thumbs up button, drop a comment, and please subscribe to the channel if you've not already. Hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our videos, you just get a little notification on your phone when we post. Simple as that. We're going to go out and fish and we're going to have a fun one today. So hope you all enjoy. See you out there. All right, guys, here we are at the spot. First spot of the day. I don't know what today has in store. We're just kind of winging it a little bit, but it's uh, it's going to be a fun one. I know that we're out here in a spot that has snakeheads and bass and pickerel and all kinds of other fish species out here too. And then we're going to move on to some more spots, like I said in the intro, but this is our first one of the day. And I actually have a frog tied on. This is the rip toad from Snakehead Outlaws. It's a frog that's pretty new to the market and I got a swim bait on that other rod. So we're gonna try to get a topwater bite out here. It's uh, you know kind of cloudy, which is good for topwater, but it was sunny this morning, so the water should be heated up a little bit and maybe these fish will be a hidden top. But I'm excited to get out here, get on some fish. I know they're gonna be biting one way or another and we're gonna pack everything up right here and hop out there. So see y'all in a second. All right, let's get rolling today. We're in like, four or five inches of water max. But it gets a little bit deeper out here to our left and then the pond actually goes back quite a ways. So I'll have plenty of places to explore today. In the summer though, the snakeheads will sit like right in this area right here. And it's pretty cool fishing for them. I don't know where they're at today, but maybe we'll get lucky and find one. There's only a few here. It's not like a high population spot for that, but there's a lot of bass and that's kind of what we're going to focus on is the bass. And if we get a snake, it's just an extra bonus. But you know I have to toss around the frog a little bit to start. This new rip toad is really cool. It's my first time using it, so I took a few casts off the bank and the action's really good. So I'm excited to try it all year. Water is super clear today. This is going to be the bait that really kills it for us, I think, that Kai Tech. Let's toss around the frog a little bit though. Already spooking some stuff down here. This is one of those places that turns on for top water a lot sooner than many other places that I fish. So I would not be shocked if we got some top water action today. Something big just jumped right here. I don't think there's carp in this pond either, so might have been a top water attack of some sort. Let me go over here where it's a little bit deeper. I think those fish are gonna be in water that's probably more than six inches deep. Over here it's like two feet, which for this pond is about as deep as it gets, so I think that's where they're gonna be. Fish on guys. First cast in the deep spot. Little bass on the swim bait. That's what I'm talking about. I knew they'd be over here. Let's get it. Right when it hit the water too. Little guy on the Kai Tech. Good way to start the day. All right, let's go. See you buddy. No, there's bigger fish than that out there, but gotta start somewhere, right? They love swim baits in this pond. When you got water that's this clear, swim bait is such a good choice because they're just going to be able to see that bait so well. You don't need anything 
any kind of bait that's like making noise or anything like that just something natural in this clear water it's gonna do it every time there's another one guys a little bit better too they might be stacked up over here Whew. I love the feeling of when they hit a swim bait. You can just feel that thump so so hard. Pop that on out of you, buddy. Sweet, fish number two, definitely a little bit bigger. Swim bait's gonna be the ticket. We could probably just sit here all day and catch bass after bass. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting from it right now. Another one. They keep getting bigger too. I'm loving it right now. Come here, buddy. Boom. Hooked him right in the tongue. That's wild. Let's get that out of you. Definitely another upgrade on the size too. These are some really good looking fish in here. Healthy fish. See him swim off right there. That's the hat trick. Three fish in the boat. Many more to come, hopefully. Other fish. This one feels pretty good, too. What do we got? Oh, there's a pickerel. That's a pickerel. That's my first... Is that my first pickerel of the year? I don't remember. I knew we'd see one of these toothy guys today. That's why I got the grippers out. Pop that on out of there. There's our second species of the day. One of my favorite fish to catch, the chain pickerel. Tons of teeth in there. You do not want to mess with these guys. Nice yellow eyes on him too. Pretty cool. Alright buddy. Away you go. I just had a feeling the bite would be on today. That's why I came out to this spot. It's one of my favorite spots. And the bite is on, so we're rolling. Pickerel just grabbed that right at the boat, guys. I know you can't see it as well as I can, but he was following it in. Just grabbed the tail, didn't even get the hook, but there's another pickerel about the same size. There's another fish. Oh, that's a better pickerel right there. Look at him go. I wonder if that's the same one we just had. It's kind of barely hooked though, so let's try to get him in. That's a nice fish, man. That is a nice fish. Come here. That water's getting warm, actually. There we go. Nice, solid pickerel. Pop that hook out of your mystery. And there he goes. Quick and easy. Killing it on the swim bait right now, guys. They are munching today. Another one. Right when it hit the water. I'm guessing pickerel. No, it's actually a bass. It's a good bass. Best bass of the day. Look at that thing fighting. And these are some really good looking fish in here. That's a good fish. Bang. Pop that out. 
That's what I'm talking about, boys. Nice, probably two pounder right there. Really good fish. All right, let's let him go. They're just whacking this thing. I don't even know what to say anymore. Destroying it. We'll just let the wind carry this one down this shoreline a little bit. I don't know if I had a bite when I hit the water or if I landed on a stick or something. But yeah, we'll just let the wind push us. Keep on casting the same little trench. Wish that sun would come back out. All right, we're gonna switch up. We're gonna frog for a bit. I've already caught a lot of fish on the swim bait. I've had a lot of fun out here, so I feel like I can throw something around that's a little bit more risky. Probably less of a chance to catch fish now, but if we do catch something, it's either gonna be a snakehead or we're gonna find some aggressive topwater bass. So we're gonna take that chance now. I really wouldn't be surprised to see some totally knock the socks off of this rip toad. The fish are aggressive today. I've caught them here early in the season before on top water, so I don't see why they wouldn't be doing the same thing today. You never know, it's unpredictable, but it's worth a shot. You guys see that? First big topwater hit of the year. Pretty sure it was a pickerel just by the way it hit. It's great to see though, you love to see that. Wish he ate it though. There we go, first topwater fish of the year. He hit it like four times. Bam. I was thinking he wasn't gonna be able to eat it. Thought it was a smaller fish than this, but it's our first frog fish of the year, boys. Smoked the rip toad from Snakehead Outlaws. That is fantastic. Look how he ate that thing. Not a big mouth on this fish, and it is a you know decently sizable frog, but he wanted it bad enough where he just obliterated it like four times before he finally ate it. Nice and healthy fish. Let's go ahead and let him go right here. Man, what a day. It's been great. Can't ask for much more than this. Once again, this is the Snakehead Outlaws Rip Toad. It's got... I'll show you here in a little more detail because I didn't do that at the beginning of the video when I uh, was throwing it around up towards the front of this pond. But it's got that little blade on the bottom that I love having on my frogs. That'll be great for snakeheads. And then it's got these two little paddle tails on the back that create like a wake in the water when you drag it across. And you can do a lot of things with it. It's a versatile frog. You can pop it. You can just twitch it across the top. You can steady retrieve it slowly across the, the top of the water. And it, you know, it performs well in all those kind of situations that you would use a frog in. So, you know, this is uh, my first season using it and I already got my first topwater fish of the year on it on day one of trying it, so let's keep throwing it around. There's another one. Next cast. That is insane. That's a, is that a bass? Yeah. Literally just talking about this toad, this rip toad. 
and we got fish on back-to-back -back casts with it. Didn't even think I got a good hook set, but these hooks are ultra sharp. And I still managed to hook that fish. Crazy. All right, there she is, rip toed fish number two. Back to back cast. On a reel. I can't wait to try the rip toed at the next spot we're going to. Our final spot of the day, second and final spot. Because there is a lot of snakeheads in there. And I'm gonna put this down in front of them and we might have a day. All right, here we are at the next spot, guys. This is kind of a very hit or miss spot but there are a lot of snakeheads here, so we're gonna give the rip toad a shot. And you know, the other place we were at was popping, and we even caught two on top water, two bass. So, you know, I came to a place that's not all that far away, and you know, the water should be equally warm and everything like that. So I'm thinking maybe the snakes will be popping on top water today, but you know, even when it is like peak top water season here, they are tough to catch, but there is a good number of them in here, and there's some big ones, so. Kind of taking a shot here and uh gonna give the rip toe to go see what we can do start casting around and and maybe we'll get lucky today Freaking snakehead, dude. Big freaking snakehead. Took it under, ripped the tail right off of this rip toad. Fish one, guys. Oh, it's a big bass. Are you kidding me? A big old bass on the Slayer rat from Snakehead Outlaws. I was half expecting a snakehead. Well, more than half. But I did not expect that big old bass to come out of this little swamp. The way it hit, though, I could tell it really wasn't a snakehead. But man, freaking chomping. The bass are blowing up like crazy today on everything. It's just wild. I've had some snakehead action, which is what I came here for. The other spot, I was, you know, pretty much focusing on bass. But, uh, man, that's a good fish. My biggest bass of the year. We'll let them go. Keep hoping for snakeheads, but, man, a fish is a fish. And that's on the Slayer rat. I tied this on. Given a little bit of a different presentation than a typical frog. I don't know, it's just crazy. Snakeheads are up and moving around. We've had action with that. And I really was thinking that was gonna be a snakehead right there because most of the fish back in here are snakeheads. But you know, I'm fine with catching a fish like that any day of the week. It was a fun one. So 